Hey everyone. I don't think I connected it to the to the new release, so this is a separate video video. So hey everyone, it's Desiree. <laughs> I am here with my uh, design team project for rubber stamp tapestry and of course I could not wait to dig in to um, this peg stamp set here called Christmas Bobbles. It is a six yes a six peg stamp set so you've got I'm gonna call this one a medium and then these are the smalls because uh, there is a tiny and a larger one so um, remember your peg stamps all have a registry at the bottom um, a line that tells you if this if you know where this line is you know how this is going to stamp so I have this line facing me so I know when I stamp that ornament it's going to be upside down so that's what helps you to turn and twist so just something to keep in mind with so I grabbed my memento dewdrops for some reason not quite sure <laughs> but for some reason I always um, I always reach for my memento dewdrops um, or in cubes the uh, what's great with rubber stamp tapestry and their website they do have these ink pads as well but they also have the versifying in the different colors so I keep eyeing them it's very scary um, but I'm being good. I'm, I'm being really good. Although you'll see one thing where, yeah, I wasn't so good. So I've got my, <laughs> I've got my dewdrops going on there. I'm going to grab a baby wipe because that's what I always use, and I always fold this up and just set this on the side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stamp my sentiment first. And the sentiment I'm going to actually use from this is the one that says, I like hanging with you. Get it? Okay. You know, if it's got a pun to it, I'm a happy camper. Um, with, you know, just some funny sayings. So, what I, what I always do with these, now again, this set is an unmounted red rubber stamp set. So, it comes as a, you know, like a four by six block. So you have to mount it on your foam if that's what you want to do, or you can use your Aileen's tack it over and over, um, and then you've got to cut this up. So I've already done that. Usually what I do is I just laminate a 4x6 sheet together, and then I'm able to place those on there so they're not just balling up um, in my packaging in there. Now I've got to find that sentiment. Um... I'm going to think it's used. Yes, it's this one. Um, so anyway. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment first. Only because I know me. I'll get carried away. Um, now always when I try to cut my sentiments out. I do try to have a straight line when it comes to the bottom. Because then I know that my sentiment will go down straight onto my card panel. Um, and sorry about that. Didn't realize that the um, phone stopped taping. Anyway, okay. So, where was I? We're going to stamp the image um, onto my card base because again it's oh, now I remember because I'm not quite sure you know I'm gonna get carried away with with what my idea is um, with what I'm looking at to do I'm actually going to use my Gina K obsidian amalgam ink to stamp this down I am a fan of the whole red rubber thing um, right and as always, I'm throwing something around. Okay. Making a mess. That's the fun with crafting, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Lord knows I exhumed that. <coughs> okay. So, 
Let's try this again. Okay. All right, so I'm going to lightly tap into the ink pad. Make sure it's covered. But like I was saying, I try to always have the bottom of the sentiment cut straight, as straight as I can cut it, so that I know, okay, no matter where I'm stamping my sentiment, it is going to be somewhat straight. Now, if it's crooked, do does that matter? Not to me, it does not. Um, I, I don't stress if my sentiment is crooked or not. Um, I'm good with it. I do know that when it comes to red rubber, um, and I'm stamping this way, and I'm not using one of my stamp positioning tools, um, I do like to let this sit here, just to make sure that I get a nice, good impression um, on the um, cardstock that I'm using here. Okay, so my sentiment is down, and it's pretty straight. Okay, yeah, see? Okay, so what I'm going to start with are my greens. And I do want to grab a scratch piece of paper. Now, the scratch pieces of paper that I use, again, I just go to my local dollar store and I buy the children's... Um, Oh, I forget what they're called. I'm looking here, and I'm making more sense. It's called Doodle Paper Pad. Um, you know, it's just a simple paper in a pad, as you can see. Um, and I just get a couple of those. And they last me a long time, because there's like, you know, usually like 100 sheets um, within each one, or 50 sheets. Okay, so I'm going to start with my green, and I'm going to start with the dark. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab a pencil and I just want to draw some lines coming in. And what I'm doing is I'm, it's going to look like there's branches coming down. Um, but and I kind of do want them to come into... Uh, the sentiment, but not, not cross over. So it'll be a little different. And then I just need one more. And I don't know how I want that to go. Um, we'll have that go like that. Maybe. And maybe we'll have this one. Okay. So again, I'll be able to race them. Alright, so now, I always like to test how they're going to stamp first, so I kind of want, I'm going to start on the end, on that one, and I'm just going to stamp a few, I'm going to curl that one like that. And I'm only going to curl that one like that. And now I'm just going to fill in. And we'll see how that works. I'm going to come in with some up here. Again, you can tell I'm just turning this peg all over. Now I'm going to use the same peg stamp. I thought, you know, bet you thought I was not going to do that. And now I'm going to come in with the lighter shade. Again, I want to stamp that down just to see how that looks. And now I am just going to fill in these areas to have all of this just going to town there. So I'm going to do a lot of crossing over. Um, I'm going to do a lot of pushing this through, but I want them to look like they are full 
um, branches, holly branches, or any type of branch that's coming down. Um, so you can tell just by going over and over and over on each of these, it really does fill itself up. Um, and I'm almost pushing, well, at least I think I am, um, I'm almost pushing that green section back. And I'm going to come down on this. And I'm okay that I've got this ghosting thing that's going on. That's because I am turning and pushing down too much on the... Um, on the branch, which is fine. And even though the branch has an end, it's getting hidden in between all of this. So I'm just having way too much fun here stamping. Can you tell? And I just want to fill this in just a little bit, just to give that an edge. I think that's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to fill in this section here just to give it a little bit more. And you can see, even by me, when I'm going over those areas with this one color, I'm getting this other shade that comes down, which is kind of awesome. It's kind of blending all of these other colors in together. So very much enjoying that. So I'm just going to keep on filling this in. And it's great because I'm not losing the image of the pine. All right, but I do think I'm done now. Okay. So we're going to put these away. And now what I'm going to do is I've got, I've chosen four colors, nautical blue, summer sky, teal zeal, and sweet plum. Um, I really loved all of the blue shades that they had here. So I'm kind of very much inspired by that. And yeah, I'm just copying that color. But I wanted to add a different color, so I'm adding that purple. So these are all of the different ornaments that we have. I know I'm going to use this one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't think I'm going to use that one. So I'm just going to set that one aside. And I think for the one with the design on it, I think I'm going to go in with the plum. And yes, so I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. Okay. Um, excuse me for one moment. My cat is literally laying on my computer. Hold on. I'll be right back. Wow. I'm amazed. Love my cat. Okay. Back to this. All right. So now we're going to go into the next. Yes, my cat is awesome. He loves the heat that comes from my computer. Um, but what he doesn't understand, I'm, I'm waiting. It's like a child. You know, they just push the buttons. I, I'm waiting for something to be ordered on my computer. Next, I'm going to use the hound's tooth, and I'm going to think I'm going to go with the dark blue on that one. So I think I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put one there. I think that's that. I think for the light, or for the diamond, I'm going to use the teal color. And I think I'm going to come in with that one there. I'm going to put that one there. And I think I'm going to put one here. And then for this one, I'm going to come in with the lightest color. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that one there. And I think that's all I want to add on that. Okay, so now you do know that 
going to doodle. So for my doodling, I'm actually going to use um, my Arteza Ink Onic. Um, it's a 0.4 pen. I think you've seen me use this before. I'm either always grabbing for this pen um, to do my doodling or I am grabbing and I'm searching for it now because it's always usually very close to me. Um, my Black Pit um, Faber Castell. These these are my two. I do love the point that's on the Arteza. Just know that it is it will react with water, um, where this is permanent. Okay, and the point's pr just a little bit smaller on this one. But just know that yes, it these are water reactive. The Ingonics. Okay, so going to take my card. You know what? I think I do want a finer detail now that I'm looking at it. Okay. So I'm going to take a line and I'm just going to draw it up into the branch. But of course, you know I'm going to add my squiggles. Just say. So again, we just add our squiggles. And then just take it up until you hit one of the branches. At least that's what I'm going to do. Some of them will be curly Q. Some of them will just be short. Again, that's the wonderful process of doodling. But you can see all of the different squiggles coming down. The last thing that I'm going to add to this is I've grabbed my um, quickie glue pen. Mm, before I do that, so yeah, this is where I was bad. I love the colored handles. Yeah, I'm bad. These are by um, Tailored Expressions. Um, the different colored handles. Um, this case here, in case somebody asks, because you'll see it, it's a cute little tub. It's got a tub. Um, I will link to Make It by Marco um, down below. This is where I get um, all of my plastics. These are the same people that do the glue bottle holders and also the chamois holders. So, but yeah, I broke down and, and because I love the color of the handles. So I'm going to be using these for my dyes. I broke down. I still love my makeup brushes. Um, and I call them my makeup brushes. I think they are perfect. I think they are wonderful. I think they are just as good. And they work the same as this. Difference is they do not have white bristles. And they don't have a colored handle. Um, so. Alright. I'm going to go into the bamboo leaves. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the edge. I just want a little bit of green coming in around the edge just to close up the um, the white just a little bit. I am coming off my card and then going onto the card. I am not taking this ink directly onto it. I want a very very soft fade um, I don't want anything harsh coming into this. And you can see it just adds the something similar, or simple, to the outside edge. When I clean my brushes, I just use my baby wipe and I scratch along to get some of the color out, put it through my hand, and then I'll just let that dry. And I'll put it back in my holder. So I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to my card. And of course, I've got to find what I'm looking for. There we go. Um, of course, I'm not going to find it. Yeah. Okay. 
So I found my iridescent. So I have my quickie glue pen here. And I'm just, well, first I'm going to make sure that it's working. And now I'm just going to put some dots on this ornament here. And I'm just going to put some squiggles down on this. I'm going to accent this piece here. I'm just putting like little tiny dots. Same thing. Just adding a section here. So I'm almost adding like a highlight to some of them. To some of them I'm adding a design. Which is fine. Gonna fill that in there. And then I'm gonna add a few dots around my sentiment as well. I'm gonna grab, let's see, let's make sure this is open. Uh, okay, yeah, it's open. Oh my god. You gotta love it sometimes, right? All right, so once I get this open, we will be able to, let's see here. Okay, obviously, I need a pen. Pen, a pen, 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 pen. Oh, let's see. All right, now I'm gonna get this back on. All right, so now what I can say is once I get this open, now I can just sprinkle this across the card. These containers are very handy. Just saying. So now we have, now once that dries, I'll be able to take, oh, there we go. So you can see I have the few dots. I have the little tiny accents that I put in there. So now I'm going to move this out of my way. And I'm going to take this going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue this to a dark blue card base the stamped card wow the stamped card with all of my ornaments was cut four by five and a quarter and then the dark blue panel was cut four and a quarter by five and a half. So it will cover the front of my card base completely. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue again to put this on there, knowing that it's going to cover the entire front. You know, making sure I'm not wiping out all of the glitter that I've put on the card. So that is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I used the set called Christmas Baubles. Uh, it's a peg stamp set by Rubber Stamp Tapestry. It's from their new release. And I also used a sentiment from their Christmas greetings. Again, these are red rubber unmounted. You have to either put them on foam you ate uh, or use Aileen's tacket over and over, whatever it is you do, and you've got to cut them apart. Um, but you get some great sentiments, and I just love the fonts that have been chosen. So again, I do hope you enjoyed this. All the products that I used will be linked down below, so if you wanted to check them out. And as always, some, most do have an affiliate link, but remember, it is no more charge to you. If you should make a purchase, I just get a small commission. And again, it does not change the price that you pay at all. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that um, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. You, you got to click on a lot of things there. So sorry about that. But you don't want to miss the next video when it goes live. And I'd love for you to be part of my group. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. And I thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you are here um, and that you continue to stick with me. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, take care, but always remember what's most important. Always be creative.